All right, guys. Well, it is your lucky day because uh, I am stuck at the fucking laundromat going batshit crazy here on Sunday night, June 20th, 2021. This is what I'm doing with my life. You're all depressed, collapsitarian, with no life, hanging out at an empty laundromat on a Sunday night. But, uh, you know, for everyone who bitches that all Humpty Dumpty tribe is, is a bunch of bitching and whining. We, I have found right here in the fucking laundromat in Candor, New York, from Greenpeace, no less. Greenpeace. Apparently, with no trace of irony, top tips for how to give up plastic, how to give up plastic. We have 10 of the top tips how to give up plastic directly from the book, How to Give Up Plastic, A Guide to Changing the World, One Plastic Bottle at a Time, by Will McCollum, Head of Oceans at Greenpeace UK. Okay, Will McCollum is going to teach us how to change the world, to change the world, this is how, by your consumer and lifestyle choices, you, you personally, are going to change the world by giving up plastic. Number one, take your water bottle with you wherever you go. Refill it at water fountains and ask local cafes to refill it for you. Uh, I don't know, are they talking about this plastic bottle? Are they talking about this plastic bottle? Or are they talking about this plastic bottle? Or are they talking about the plastic thing of Sluggo? Maybe they're talking about the plastic sprayer Maybe they're talking about the plastic bottle of zinc gummies. Let's see, this is, maybe they're talking about Sancho's plastic leash. Uh, anyway, that's what the floor of my truck looks like. I've only got three of these bottles, but let's me reach behind my sink, behind my seat. Okay, let's see. Um, I find some plastic wrap. Well, oh no, have I run out of... Did I finally get to the end of this 24 case of plastic bottles? I've been able just to reach behind my seat. Anyway... But I will say that I did fill up some single-use plastic bottles out of the spring bubbling up at a Bugs in a Jar Farm. <clears throat> so what is it? I'm, I'm thinking, is it one million, is it one million of these single-use plastic bottles hitting the planet? Is it every minute or every hour? But uh, you can change the world and save the planet by taking your drinking bottle. That's the number one most important way to save the planet. I, the fucking humidity here, guys. Unbelievable on the last day of spring. Okay. Check your cosmetics and sunscreens for microbeads before you buy them. Pick products with natural alternatives instead. I am proud to say I do not own one cosmetic and I do not use sunscreen. Uh, real men do not use sunscreen. So I, ham my little tail, am changing the world and saving the planet 
by not using cosmetics or sunscreen, I'm going to give myself a gold star from Greenpeace. All right. Number three, bring a packed lunch to work in your lunch box. I'm assuming your non-plastic lunch box or eat your lunch at cafes and restaurants that do not use single-use cutlery or cups. There you go, uh, which would certainly boycott the entire fast food industry. Uh, yes, so... Okay, who was it? The Guardian. I'm, I'm trying to think. I mean, as horrible as these fucking uh, million per minute single-use plastic bottles and all of that shit are. I think the Guardian uh, did some story on this that all of this single-use plastic, which is horrible makes up about 0.3 percent or was that just plastic so but anyway i mean by by weight the um the you know all of these single use plastics which deservedly get all of this bad press they make up a tiny percentage of uh of the plastics ending up in our oceans and that by this latest survey i was just reading in in manga bay I believe it was Manga Bay saying that 46%, 46% of the plastic, you know, in the oceans that are killing all of this shit in the oceans, what they are are old fishing lines and fishing gear. It's from the uh, industrial scale commercial fishing. 46%, a hell of a lot more plastic in the ocean comes from commercial fishermen in the ocean than it does from all of this single-use stuff. Um, I'm not, this is not defending single-use stuff. It's pulling your fucking head out of your ass, you fucking clueless fucking moron. If you eat fucking seafood, if you eat fucking seafood with your fucking little uh, non-single-use fucking utensil and you go to some fucking restaurant that doesn't use fucking single use whatever you're you ain't doing a motherfucking thing to save this fucking planet you clueless fucking moron if you're eating anything that comes out of the fucking ocean this is why i don't eat fucking seafood you know it's not only the fucking overfishing, it's the plastic pollution. The fucking biggest use, uh, the, the biggest uh, factor of ocean plastic uh, is never fucking mentioned in this fucking bullshit by Greenpeace written by uh, the motherfucking head of oceans at Greenpeace. Never fucking mentioned. Maybe he fucking mentions it uh, in his fucking book somewhere. Stop eating seafood, you fucking clueless moron. Jesus fucking Christ. I get so fuck of this fight. So fucking sick of this fucking bullshit. Had tips on how to give up plastic. Y y you know? Uh, fuck this bullshit. Y you know, I've heard enough of this bullshit. It's the usual fucking shit. Here we are at a fucking laundromat. Number four, shop for clothes. Stop your clothes shedding microfibers. Avoid washing synthetic fibers so often and buy a microfiber wash bag to capture plastic fibers before they go down the drain. This is posted in a fucking laundromat, for God fucking sake. Say no to plastic straws, close quote. That was it, that the Guardian uh, did a story on, on did a story on plastic fucking straws. 
that makeup, I think it was 0 0.003% uh, of the of the plastics in the ocean as much as we should give up plastic straws we give up we, we erase fucking plastic straws from the fucking planet okay and we're and 99.997 percent of the plastic in the fucking ocean is completely unaffected a uh, 46% of the fucking plastic in the ocean is coming from these they're from these motherfucking uh, the the industrial commercial fishing industry mainly china and so if you eat fucking seafood every time you, you put a bite of fucking seafood in your clueless fucking mouth you fucking clueless moron you're doing more to take down these fucking oceans th than if you crammed uh, 300 fucking straws up your fucking clueless asshole every fucking day you know pull your fucking head out of your ass people say no to plastic straws Unless you need one to drink. Well, there you go. I'm proud to say I have no plastic straw in my metal margarita container. There is no plastic in my margarita container. Say no to plastic. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Thank God. Here's what I'm doing right now. Speak up. Use Use social media to post pictures of unnecessary plastic packaging and make sure to tag the shop you saw it in in your photo. Ask them publicly online why they insist on using so much plastic. Well, what I'm going to put on my fucking social media is this fucking bullshit from, from fucking Greenpeace. And I'm going to ask the motherfuckers at Greenpeace why the motherfucking head of oceans uh, never fucking mentions anywhere in, in this fucking thing that 46% of the, of the plastic uh, in the oceans uh, comes from commercial fishing, which you're not going to see anywhere on this goddamn thing. I, I'm, here's a fucking picture of it. The, these fucking lion sacks of shit at fucking Greenpeace. Greenpeace makes me want to fucking puke. They're right up there at the fucking World Wildlife Fund and all the rest of them. You know, I don't blame uh, goddamn Paul Watson from Sea Shepherd Society. Uh, you know, he used to be one of the big guns. He taught, you know, telling Greenpeace to go fuck yourself, Greenpeace. Go fuck yourself. This is the biggest pile of fucking crap. Uh, how much fucking paper, how many fucking trees died for, for you to publish this fucking bullshit? Get yourself a reusable coffee cup. Yes, lots of cafes now offer discounts if you bring your own coffee cup instead of using their single-use ones. Here we go. Quit smoking. Quit smoking. Uh, you know, guys, uh, anybody uh, thinking that anyone, any fucking nicotine slave is going to fucking quit smoking because of the plastic in their cigarettes, uh, they're fucking nicotine slaves. Quit smoking. Remember your reusable shopping bags when you go out. Stick them in your pocket so you don't have to use a plastic bag to take your shopping home. I do use paper bags. I, I think in New York, actually, thanking our planet-saving governor, Andrew Cuomo, I think plastic bags are illegal in New York. And number 10, pick plastic-free fruit and vegetables. Either start shopping in a shop that does not wrap all its produce in plastic, or when you can, pick the loose fruit and vegetables in the supermarket. I have had rants about that. I almost have to agree with them uh, on the fucking wrapping every motherfucking apple and banana and, and, and a fucking piece of plastic. Anybody on, on this fucking planet 
uh, it, if, if every single human being on this planet followed all 10 of these guides from fucking Greenpeace about tips for how to give up plastic, that would get rid of every one of these things combined. If you, if you went through every one of these motherfucking bullshit uh, ideas, as much as I support them, don't get me wrong, you would reduce your amount of plastic use by about 1% because it does not factor in all of the plastic that goes into all of this shit that you never see that doesn't show up here. You know? Everything in this fucking car is made of plastic. I think the dog is made of plastic. Are you made of plastic, Sancho Bonzo? Anyway, I see my plastic dryer, as on, so I have to go uh, unload my plastic clothes into my fucking plastic uh, laundry basket and uh, have another shot of this fucking margarita in my metal cup. Bye, guys.